Ecology is the scientific study of interactions between organisms and their environment. It encompasses a wide range of scales, from individual organisms and populations to entire ecosystems in the biosphere. Ecosystems are complex networks of living organisms, biotic factors, and their physical environment, abiotic factors, that interact and exchange energy and matter. Let's explore key concepts in ecology and ecosystems. Organisms and Populations Ecology examines how individual organisms interact with each other and their environment. Populations consist of individuals of the same species living in a particular area and interacting with one another. Ecologists study population dynamics, including population size, density, distribution, and growth rates, as well as factors influencing these parameters, such as competition, predation, and environmental conditions. Two. Communities. A community consists of all the populations of different species living and interacting within an ecosystem. Community ecology explores the relationships between species, including competition for resources, predation, symbiosis, and the role of keystone species in maintaining ecosystem stability. Ecosystem structure and function. Ecosystems have both biotic and abiotic components that interact with each other. Biotic components include living organisms such as plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms, while abiotic components include non-living factors such as temperature, sunlight, water, soil, and nutrients. Energy flow and nutrient. Cycling. Energy flows through ecosystems in a one-way direction, entering as sunlight and being converted into chemical energy through photosynthesis by autotrophic organisms, for example, plants, algae. This energy is then transferred through the food web as organisms consume each other, with energy being lost as heat at each trophic level. Decomposers break down organic matter, releasing nutrients back into the environment, which are then recycled through biogeochemical cycles such as the carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus cycles. Trophic levels and food webs. Trophic levels represent the hierarchical levels in a food chain or food web, indicating an organism's position in the energy flow within an ecosystem. Producers, autotrophs, occupy the first trophic level, converting sunlight into chemical energy. Primary consumers, herbivores, feed on producers. Secondary consumers, carnivores, feed on primary consumers, and so forth. Food webs illustrate the complex network of feeding relationships within an ecosystem, demonstrating the interconnectedness of species and trophic levels. Biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life forms, including species, diversity, genetic diversity, and ecosystem diversity within a given area. High biodiversity is essential for ecosystem resilience, stability, and productivity as it provides redundancy and adaptability to environmental changes. Human activities, such as habitat destruction, pollution, climate change and invasive species introduction pose significant threats to biodiversity and ecosystem health. Succession and disturbance. Ecosystems undergo changes over time due to natural processes such as succession and disturbances. Primary succession occurs in areas devoid of soil, such as bare rock or sand, while secondary succession occurs in areas where existing vegetation has been disturbed or removed. Disturbances, such as fires, floods, hurricanes, and human activities can disrupt ecosystem structure and function, but they can also create opportunities for new species to colonize and thrive. Ecological niches. 
An ecological niche refers to the role and position of a species within an ecosystem, including its interactions with other organisms and its utilization of resources. Each species occupies a unique ecological niche defined by its habitat, diet, behavior, and other ecological factors. The concept of niche differentiation helps to reduce competition among species by allowing them to occupy different ecological niches within the same ecosystem. Habitat and Habitat Loss A habitat is the specific environment where an organism lives and obtains the resources it needs to survive and reproduce. Habitats vary in size, structure, and composition ranging from terrestrial ecosystems like forests and grasslands to aquatic ecosystems like rivers, lakes, and oceans. Habitat loss, caused by deforestation, urbanization, pollution, and other human activities, threatens biodiversity and ecosystem integrity by reducing the availability of suitable habitats for species. Ecological Succession Ecological succession is the process by which ecosystems undergo predictable and orderly changes in species, composition, and community structure over time. Primary succession occurs in areas where no previous biological community existed, such as newly formed volcanic islands or glacial moraines, while secondary succession occurs in areas where existing vegetation has been disturbed or removed, such as after a forest fire or abandoned agricultural land. Ecological Pyramids Ecological pyramids are graphical representations of the trophic structure and energy flow within an ecosystem. They depict the distribution of energy, biomass, or numbers among different trophic levels in a food chain or food web. In pyramid of energy, biomass, and numbers, each higher trophic level typically contains less energy, biomass, and individuals compared to the trophic level below it, reflecting the inefficiency of energy transfer between trophic levels. Ecological Resilience Ecological resilience refers to the ability of an ecosystem to resist or recover from disturbances while maintaining its structure, function, and integrity. Resilient ecosystems exhibit adaptive capacity and flexibility to respond to environmental changes and disturbances, such as droughts, floods, and invasive species. Biodiversity, habitat heterogeneity, and connectivity are key factors that contribute to ecological resilience and ecosystem stability. Conservation and Restoration Ecology Conservation ecology focuses on the preservation and sustainable management of biodiversity and natural resources, aiming to protect endangered species, restore degraded habitats, and mitigate human impacts on ecosystems. Restoration ecology involves the intentional efforts to repair and rehabilitate damaged or degraded ecosystems, including reforestation, wetland restoration, and habitat enhancement projects to promote ecosystem recovery and resilience. Global Environmental Issues Ecology addresses global environmental challenges such as climate change, habitat destruction, pollution, deforestation, overexploitation of natural resources, and loss of biodiversity. These issues require interdisciplinary approaches and international cooperation to develop effective conservation strategies, sustainable development practices, and policies to safeguard the health and integrity of ecosystems for present and future generations. Ecology and ecosystems encompass a diverse array of concepts, principles, and processes that govern the interactions between organisms and their environment. By studying ecology, we gain insights into the complex dynamics of ecosystems, the importance of biodiversity, and the interconnectedness of life on Earth. As stewards of the environment, 
It's imperative to apply ecological knowledge to address pressing environmental challenges and promote the long-term sustainability of our planet. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more.